before I kick off this video, I just want to give a quick disclaimer that it is indeed fireworks night here in the UK, which basically means now that it's dark out, there's going to be fireworks going off pretty much all night. Fun times. So, unfortunately, I'll try and pause it and not have fireworks while I'm talking as much as possible, but it's not going to be possible to avoid all of it because, well, my neighbours are a bit excited about it being November the 5th, what can I say? Anyway, yesterday we detailed a, quite a bit about BlizzCon, primarily the Sombra announcement and of course a bunch of stuff about Diablo and StarCraft 2, but now we have some more Overwatch stuff about the new arcade mode, which actually gives some pretty interesting ways to play the game and actually will kind of give it much more content into the game and as much as I do enjoy Overwatch, it is a bit lacking in that regard. So. This also offers, as one of the new gameplay modes and stuff that I'm going to go through in a minute, a new way to earn loot boxes outside of the normal experience based progression. Now arcade mode is actually replacing the weekly brawl that of course switches up the normal rules of the game, but it is also absorbing the weekly brawl. So it doesn't mean weekly brawl is going anywhere, it's just going to be included in this arcade mode. Now this mode is actually going to be offering a suite of other gameplay types including Mystery Duel, Elimination, Mystery Heroes, No Limits and of course the full playlist of the game's existing brawls. To be able to play any of the modes in arcade and earn rewards up to 3 loot boxes per week and if you want to earn a box you simply have to win 3 matches across any of these arcade modes. Let's talk some details on the actual modes though, shall we, as we had some information from the game director Jeff Kaplan, and he spoke a fair bit on the Mystery Duel, which is, as you probably guessed, a one-on-one -on -one battle. In Mystery Duel, the game will randomly pick a hero each round, but you must play as that hero against each other in a best of nine rounds challenge, and according to Kaplan, this mode is somewhat of an equaliser, where you can test your skills evenly against each other. Now, of course, because it's one on one, this is going to be on a much smaller map, which is the Eco Point map set in Antarctica, which is home to May's research facility and is also going to be fresh, full of new lore. And we haven't really had much about May either, so it's definitely going to be interesting to delve into that map and seeing what goodies it has in store for us. We're also going to be having Elimination, which is a 3v3 mode, which two teams of three fighting best of five rounds contest. And there is a bit of a catch here. Going against the normal grain of Overwatch, once you choose your hero, you cannot switch out until the next round. The existing brawls like Super Shimada Brothers, High Noon and Mobile Watch will still be available as a playlist as I said, and Blizzard is still going to be developing new types of brawls, for example one where the teams will be composed of only Lucios and Reinhardts. There's another coming up called This Is Elios which will send you to the well section of that map and the only selectable characters will be Lucio and Roadhog and No Limits is pretty much what it says on the tin, it's where anything goes. If you want to play as a team full of Torbions and Maze, No Limits is the place. Now, you might be saying, hang on, can't you just do that anyway if you want to just like jump into quick play and do that for fun? Well, actually no, because this mode is being added to Arcade because Blid is making change, uh, sorry, a rather major change to the quick play mode. You know that one hero limit that is in competitive mode? That is now making its way to quick play. So if you want to do a team of, you know, Torbions and Maze or whatever it is you want to do, you're going to have to go over to the no limits mode in the arcade, and apparently this is necessary for quick play to quote unquote stay healthy. So basically this turns quick play into an unranked mode with competitive being ranked and do you know what, I'm actually okay with that. If I'm in the mood to do something silly like do five Lucios or whatever, which I actually have done, uh, didn't win, obviously, <laughs> then there is still a place for me to do that and it does mean that, you know, people still want to have fun, you can still do that in quick play, no one's saying it has to be super competitive, oh my god, you know, my, my MMR, it's not going to be that, it just means that, you know, the team that you're facing off against isn't going to be, you know, five Torbions or whatever, it's actually going to be a team of people who are trying to play at least semi-properly, when I say properly it means not, not just being a troll game and actually wanting to win, all that sort of stuff. So, to be honest, as much as this is probably going to get mixed reactions, I'm perfectly okay with it because it's not that they're taking away the ability for you to do silly things, it's just in another mode. It does turn quick play into unranked, basically, but you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. That's basically what it was anyway, so why not go whole hog with it and just make sure that we're not facing silly compositions or having people choose three Widowmakers when we don't have a healer? That would be nice. So, there you have it. To be honest, arcade mode sounds pretty much awesome. 
Overwatch was in pretty dire need of some new modes, to be honest. I mean, new maps and heroes are great and all, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm getting hyped up for Sombra. Definitely going to be giving her a try on the PTR when she comes on there next week. But new modes are definitely needed for the long life of this particular game. And these modes sound like just a ticket, to be honest, at least for now. And obviously we could be having more modes added to the arcade as time progresses. So... Interesting stuff, but I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions as always. Do let me know, and I'll see you next time. Bye.